Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I showed you how to install the Oracle VirtualBox, which is a hypervisor for installing uh, virtual machines. So in today's video, I'll be installing an actual uh, virtual machine. So we'll be installing our Windows 11 on our Oracle VirtualBox. So before we, we begin the installation process, you need to get the ISO file for, for Windows 11. So uh, you, you just go to Google and then type in uh, 10, I mean Windows 11 download, and then select the link that takes you to, there's a link that's gonna take you to the Microsoft.com, so go to that link. Once you get to that, to, to that, that website, you'll see there's a, a few options for downloading the, uh, depending on how you want to install it. Uh, once you, uh, depend, depending on if you want to use the assistance uh, installation or if you want to do like a, a DVD, bootable USB or DVD, or for in our case, we just want the iOS, uh, the ISO file, so we'll use this option. So here, click on the down arrow and select uh, Windows 11 and then go to download. Before you download it, there's information here. You can read through it. It tells you about the different options. Once you're ready, just um, select the language here, English, confirm. And here you'll have the option now to download if you click on this, it actually don't download the file. I'm not going to download it again. I already have it downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, this is what it's, it's going to look like. So I have it here. It's about five gigs. So this is the file you want. This is the ISO file you want. You also want to uh, verify the system's uh, verif uh, specifications for this. Or system to uh, system requirements for uh, Windows 11. Just Google uh, Google that, and then it should show you what you're needed in terms of hardware. So in this case, we need four gigs, four gigs of RAM, and then for storage, the hard disk you need at least 64 gigs, and then for the processor, uh, two or more cores are needed. Now that we've determined all that and we have the file, we can now go to, uh, we can open our VirtualBox. So go ahead and open VirtualBox here and then go to new and then give your file, your, uh, your new system or your new machine uh, a name. This is gonna be a Windows 10 machine. I mean, a Windows 11. It's, it's being installed on a, on a Windows 10, which is our host. And then here, the folder is where the files for this virtual machine are, are going to be stored. So you, you created a default folder here. You can change it if you want. And then the rest, you just, it just selects it for you. The type is uh, Microsoft Windows and the version is uh, Windows 11, the 64 bit. So once you have that, you can click next and here you can change depending on how much uh, RAM you have on your, your system, your, your host machine. You can adjust this. Uh, for us, we'll go with the four gigs. And then it says, it gives you an option here to create the hard drive, just to create the virtual hard drive. Then we'll go with the fast option here for the file type, the VDI. Click next. Dynamic, we want to, uh, the, the file size, we want to, to increase or decrease dynamically. Click next. And then here, just create the virtual machine with the 80 gigs of uh, disk space. So now we have the settings all uh, configured. We can still make modifications here by going to settings. And then the things you can change here as well. If you go to the advanced tab here under general, you can share the clipboard, which allows you to paste between the host and the client. 
between like uh, for instance on mine I have Windows 10 host then the client will be uh, Windows 11 I can paste between the two so you just need to enable this here uh, the, the other thing you can change here is the type of uh, network you can use NAT the default it just means you you share the same IP address as the host there's other options here but we're not worried about those right now another key thing you want to make sure you you make changes to is the storage so the disk right now is empty you want to make sure you select that image that you downloaded so you can click on this down arrow and then you can browse to that which is the windows 11 iso then make sure you check here live cd click ok now you're ready to start this machine click on start and then it should begin the installation process so as you, as you can see here it's it has started the installation process so here we have the uh, windows setup just uh, go with the language is english click on next and click on install so just say you don't have the key i don't if you have a key you can put it here i go with the windows 11 pro click next depending on what kind of machine if you have an older machine you, your system may not meet the requirements this is the new requirements for windows uh, 11 which is your, your your machine should have your host should be able to support secure boot and tpm so this one doesn't support it so we'll, we'll see to, we'll try and see if we, are, we can get a, a walk around to this so just close this window if you get this error so we'll we'll uh we'll start the uh, the process again so once you get in order to uh, try and bypass the error message we got earlier once you get to the windows setup page you can you need to press the shift key and the f10 key at the same time and that should open the admin uh, command window uh, and what you, you need to do here is you need to type reg edit which allows you to edit the your regist your registry. So this is the uh, the registry right right here. You need to go to H key local machine system folder and then the setup folder. Once you're in the setup folder, you need to create a new folder here. Let's see new key. So if you select new key, just type this one. We'll call it um, lab config. Just make sure all the letters match in terms of the cases. Then go to this folder, the lab config folder. So inside the lab config folder, you want to create a new D word, and then you want to call it bypass. Bypass uh, secure root check. Make sure they uh, the cases match exactly. Then double click it and change the value to one. So it says one here. That's what you want. You want to create another one. Uh, D word. And you want to call this bypass TPM check. So this is the second one, created the second one, and make sure it matches that. Once it's created, double click it and change the value to one as well. Now you have both of them in here. This is what you want. You can close this window, close this one. Okay, now you can click next, install. And then select, I don't have a product key. I will select a Windows 11 Pro, click Next. And now you can say you can accept um, the terms for the license. Click Next. And as you can see, we were able to uh, avoid that, uh, that error message. So here, 
we'll do a custom install. We have 80, uh, 80 gigs by default. That's what we selected as for disk space. And yeah, it's just gonna go through the process. This takes a, it's gonna take quite a few minutes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna skip all this. So pretty much the next steps are just gonna involve selecting next, 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 and going with the defaults until it's done. So I'll, I'll be back once it's done with the uh, with the installation. And then once you get to this page, again you select where you are. So there's a few more settings here that you'll be prompted to check. Again, like the keyboard. Again, I'll, I'll pause it because this might, uh, since it's looking for updates, it might take a few minutes. So here it's asking, it's asking for a name. Just uh, give it a name. So you yeah, set it up for personal use. Gonna ask you for a Microsoft account. So we'll use the offline account option. Let's see if that works. Skip for now. You have to type your name. You give it a password here. That you you will use to log in. Then here you can set you can set up your security questions. So there's a few more questions here. I'll pause it uh, while I finish these uh, questions. So now the installation is finished and the uh, machine has booted up. So this is the first uh, window you'll get. So these are the different apps, I guess, that they have uh, for uh, Windows 11. So this is what Windows 11 looks like. So they made a, a few changes, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll have to, I haven't used it before, so I'll have to uh, play around with it to see what's new and see what they've changed so far. Uh, let's see if the file explorer looks uh, just like Windows 10. I'm not I'm not seeing any big difference there. You can look at this PC. It should tell you that uh, we installed uh, 80 gigs. It's already using about 20 or 18 or something like that. So it doesn't use the entire 80 uh, from the host. It just uses enough to install the system files. And then once you have the uh, operating system installed, you can just play around with it and uh, see if you like it or not. So that's it for this video. I'll see you again in my uh, next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.